Oh my gosh, you guys, if you don't like fabric, you might want to go. I'm about to drown in fabric here. I don't even know how I can show it to you all. But uh, shall we get on with it? All right, here we go. I am wearing Project Runway. I showed this shirt in another video. It's got pockets, which is really fun. Uh, this is 100% rayon. It is prone to wrinkling a little bit, but I love it. Now, I don't even know how to split these up. Let's, I'm just gonna start grabbing them and showing them to you. Let's kick it off with a bang. I happen to love red and pink together. And I kept eyeing this ITY knit at Fabric Mart. It has the pink, it has the red, it has yellow, it's got these big stripes, and I thought, oh, I don't know. Well then, they put it on sale for $1.40 a yard. Well, that's all it took. And I ordered four yards of this. So it's an ITY and some people like them, some people don't. I'm a little on the fence, but I will be using that probably for a maxi dress is what I'm thinking, because I was able to get four yards for nothing. This is gorgeous. This is called Navy French Rose Red Orange Off-White Multi 100% Polyester Floral. But the cool thing about it is that it's got lines of stitching running through it, like a grid of stitching. And it's a beautiful floral print. It is rather sheer. It's unusual, shall we say. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I just, uh, I was really drawn to that grid of thread. This is also from Fabric Mart. All of these are from Fabric Mart until we switch to mood and I'll let you know when that happens. Brushed Hachi Sweater Knit. This is in a seafoam green, very, very light. This is thin, but it is very luxurious. It's soft and Very pretty. This is called White Cream Blue Coral 100% Rayon Prairie Floral Paisley Stripe Crepe Shelly. Good heavens, that's a long name. So that does have a stripe running through it. And that is a horizontal stripe. So it goes across selvage to selvage really pretty colors and it has a crepe texture so it's i always call crepe kind of dry and sandy that's just how it feels to me and i love it this is a gorgeous crepe de chine crepe de chine sometimes they can be very sheer and sometimes they can be opaque so this crepe de chine is sort of right in the middle. It is sheer when I hold it up like this, but against the body, it's perfectly opaque, and it has gorgeous colors. I bought all of these when the website had, I think it was 70% off designer fabrics, and so I scooped up a bunch of these. They were just such a great deal. This is a ribbed sweater knit in a kind of a brick red. Here's the thing. I was a little disappointed with this one. It's extremely lightweight. And they call it a sweater knit, so I think I need to revise how I picture sweater knits because I'm 
almost always disappointed when I get them. I think that they need to be kind of fuzzy and thick, not see-through, something that will keep you really warm. But that's not what all sweater knits are. So this was nice because it has a rib in it and the color is really pretty. Finally, from Fabric Mart, I went ahead with a rayon chalet in a floral print. This is a very thin rayon chalet. I happened to pick up rayon chalet from Mood, and I could compare the two. And this one from Fabric Mart is decidedly thinner, but it's still beautiful, and I love Rayon Shelley. Now we're going to switch over to Mood. We have the black bag, of course, which is always fun to get. This is a woven polyester, and I went on Mood's website and wrote a review. I was so pleased with this because it is very, very opaque and they call it hearts. You can kind of see that they're a heart shape. They almost look like little butterflies or I don't know, let's see. Selvage to selvage, it goes like that. So that's taupe and pink and navy blue. Stur uh, woven polyester, no stretch, $5.99 a yard very pleased this i love this is a sateen a cotton sateen and it has those gorgeous fans with shiny gold there is no stretch in this sateen and it is not terribly um heavyweight but i'll tell you this offering was in the $4.99 a yard. So I bought a lot of this. See if you like this idea. I was thinking of cigarette pants with like a short matching top. All of it out of this. Cotton sateen. This is really cute. Maybe a little juvenile, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna sew a dress out of this cotton jersey. Super stretchy, just as bouncy as can be, and it has cars all over it. I love it. I see a dress out of this. This was $4.99 a yard. There's plenty more. This is over at Mood. I bought this chiffon. I thought it was so pretty. And it is black and taupe. And I'm going to make a duster out of this. I bought quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit. I think I bought three yards. But I thought it was a very cool print and would look good with jeans and boots. I have some boots in that taupe color that would go Perfectly with that. Now, here's my rayon chalet from Mood, and this took me aback. I was taken aback. It said three and a half yards of rayon chalet, and it was super marked down. I think it was $2.99 a yard. Three and a half yards, that's a great amount. So I loaded that into the cart. <laughs> Look how it came. So, first of all, Adorable print, Egyptian dogs on a blue, kind of a um, heather blue background. But look how it came, piece number one, piece number two, three, four, five, It came in six pieces. Now, I'm not going to complain or anything like that. It's a gorgeous weight. It's just silky soft. 
And I thought, well, I think that I can take my dress pieces and just do that. I can piece them on these pieces. And I like it, and there's a lot of it, but I didn't know it was going to come cut up like that. I went back and read the description and it didn't mention that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make do. Now, my last bag is from Walmart. I was just in there yesterday. I, I'm always out by that store because Colin has a class out there that he attends on Thursdays. And so to kill some time while he's in class, I just jet over to Walmart and it's becoming a little dangerous. So I found charcoal, rayon, poly, lycra knit and it's 200 gsm it actually said that right on the bolt so it's super nice and stretchy and it was on one of those oh no it was not on a two dollar and fifty bolt i take that back 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 it was 598 that's getting up there for Walmart. So you can see that that, I got one and five eighths, hoping that I can get a long sleeve winter t-shirt out of that. I'll tell you what, I took out my summer clothes today from my closet and I'm gonna experiment with rolling them this time to store them for winter instead of folding them. And I stacked, made little stacks and rolled them up and, I may have ended up with four sleeping bag size rolls of summer dresses, which again, I was taken aback. But now my closet, it doesn't have a lot in it and it's gonna get cold. So I need to be making long sleeve t-shirts, don't really need to be making chiffon dusters, but, oh well, oh good, I got something here that's gonna be warm. Walmart had fleece. Well, they had this piece of fleece, this bolt rather. It is um, burgundy, not my first color pick, but this was very plush, very smooth, and of course, very warm. It was $3.74 a yard, and I bought two and five eighths of this. My friend Jean was there cutting fabric, and she's so funny. She is 86, she might be 87 now. So neither she nor I ever know what the fraction is, like for two and five eighths. And then she'll get out her chart and she's looking it up. And then she looks at me and she says, now how much did we cut? So I think, you know, if you had some dishonest person in there, you could. Well, I don't even wanna think of that. And besides, people who sew aren't going to be hustling the cutter for fabric, are they? But at one point she was looking up five eighths on this and the fraction is 0.625. And she goes, okay, now we cut six yards of that, right? And I was like, oh no, I, there's no way I could do something with six yards of fleece. So I'm hoping to make something warm with this. It's not gonna be very fashionable, I'm afraid. And then I got this cute Christmas fabric. And if you look in those little circles, you'll see Christmas trees and gingerbread boys. So, darling, this is 100% cotton. It's heavy, it's swingy, it's not stiff at all. And this was $3.74 a yard. And I thought, well, I already am gonna make a Christmas dress. What can I do with this? Went over to that cheap drawer and I pulled out Simplicity 1049 and I'm going to make little Christmas aprons with this fabric. I bought four yards of this. And hey, speaking of aprons, 
do yourself a favor and check out Joanne with an E. She just made a load of adorable aprons for gifts and she has them in her latest video. So go and see those aprons. They're so cute and they probably subliminally inspired me to go with this. I think that'll make up some cute, cute aprons. All right, we are at 16 minutes. That's long enough. I've got some good things coming up for you that I'm excited about. And my next video for you is going to be tips for buying patterns on eBay. You guys definitely expressed an interest in that. And so I've been making notes and I've been wondering how I could film it so that it would be interesting. I thought about getting out my, my dry erase board and then it's like that thing is so shot. It is just, it's ugly. I'm not gonna get out my dry erase board. But anyway, I do have some notes pulled together for um, tips on shopping on eBay. And, um, oh, there's other good stuff coming up. I'm sewing away. I have quite a few garments already done for November. I happen to be working right now with a very hateful fabric. Once again, it's a sweater knit. And if this is a sweater knit, I will eat my hat. What are you thinking, Fashion Fabrics Club? Hold on, I, I have to go get it. I have to go get it and show it to you. Can you see how thin that is? I mean, okay, so I'm making a cardigan. It's kind of a cute print. It rolls, the edges roll if you look at them. And it sticks, it's a sticky fabric. It's always sticking on everything. So I have to press the edges out and they're so fine. Do you see that? They're just, they're not nice. That was billed as a sweater knit. I can't see it. Anyway, I am making a duster cardigan high-low hem with that and not really into that, but my other things have turned out fine and I can't wait to show you in November makes, but there will be some other videos before then. I'll leave you now. I will thank you a million, billion, grillion, zillion for watching for supporting, for commenting, and for otherwise, oh, just being great. I love the sewing community. Thanks for watching today, and I'll be in touch soon. Bye.